Okay, so the next thing to add to our notes is under uh, the word polarity. So polarity, and this is going to be a big term that you're going to hear now with water, and you're going to hear this again when we get into the cell and your cell membranes and how things move back and forth across your cell membranes, you're going to hear this word polar polarity. So polarity is an uneven distribution of electrons, which causes a difference in charge. So when we drew out the picture, the reason we took the time to draw out the picture of the water molecule is to look at this uneven distribution of electrons, which are negative. So we ended up seeing primarily negative charges on the oxygen end and primarily positive charges on the hydrogen ends, which make water act like, uh, essentially act like a magnet to anything else that's polar. And that's pretty much going to be anything but lipids, which are fats. Okay, the reason why water has all of these unique properties that we're going to be covering is because of the hydrogen bonding. So there are two different types of bonds that we need to know for water. One is for a water molecule, so that little upside down Mickey Mouse head structure. And the other is for what holds one water molecule to another to create what we call water, like it's in your water bottle water. So this hydrogen bonding <clears throat> that's created between the water molecules allows them to easily and readily stick together <clears throat> and form what we call water. And this form of attraction, and we'll put this in our notes in just a few minutes, of molecules of water to each other is called cohesion. So again, um, <clears throat> we're going to be looking at this uh, in detail in the next slide in the next video, but we want to go in and label the different types of bonds so we can distinguish between what holds the O to the H in a water molecule versus what holds all the water molecules together in your bottle of water or in the bathtub or a pool or in the ocean. And, and that is the, those hydrogen bonds. So next on your sheet, we have a picture of a water molecule and then of water. And uh, we're going to label the different parts of these together. <clears throat> 